Good evening. Good evening, Good evening. teacher. Okay, um, hello guys. Welcome once again to the class, every one of you. Thank you so much for, be, for being on time. Um, can you hear me clearly, like with no interference? Yes, clear. Perfect. So um, I hope you had a great day, guys. And uh, well, so we are going to try to learn something new today, okay? So um, yesterday, as you might remember, we saw <coughs> about prepositions, right? So um, today I'm going to ask you some questions regarding to the prepositions, just for me to verify if you understood, okay? So um, I'm going to ask you some questions in general. So I'm going to verify if you studied or if you understood what I was, what I said yesterday. Can someone of you tell me how do we use the preposition at? When? When do we use it? Or how do we have to use it? Laura. Generalmente es para la hora, para dar la hora. The preposition at? Sí, eh, creo que no me explico, pero es para el tiempo. Para un tiempo preciso. Ajá, eso, exactly. eso. Exactly. Precise time. Very good. Thank you so much for your opinion, Elizabeth and Luis. Now, in general, this question, when or how do we use the preposition on? And fechas and holidays. Fecha, but when you say date, cuando dices fecha, date. are you are you talking about months, days? Birthday. No, Birth no. Birthday? On days. Cumpleaños. Days, uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Fechas festivos. de specific. specific days. 
para días o fechas específicas. All right. Okay, cool. That's very good. And what about the preposition in? Meses. Meses. Años. Décadas. Décadas. Okay. Very good. So now, listen to this sentence. Listen to this sentence. And I want you to tell me if it is correct or not. I have, I have a meeting in 9 a.m. No, no, it's correct. Is nice. is is at? Are you sure? Yes. Seguros. The other ones, do you agree? Están seguro que es at? Yes. All right. Yes. 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 At. At. Why? Because I'm talking to a specific time. What about if I say I have to eat? Pupusas on breakfast. No, is listen. At, I have to eat pupusas on at, breakfast. At, at breakfast. At, 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 yes. Okay, very good. Excellent. So now let me ask you another question in general. Um, what's the meaning of the preposition? Behind. What um, does behind yeah. mean? Atrás. Um, what does in front of mean? In front of. Do you remember what is the difference between above and over? Yes. Uh, uno, uno está tocando y el otro no toca. Uno está sobre, pero no le toca. Pero no toca. Ajá, uh -huh, y el otro está sobre y está encima y yes. está tocando. Correcto. All right. Toca. Perfect. Okay, I just got some of you that sent me the homework. Solamente siempre, casi siempre la mayoría de las mismas personas son los que envían las tareas. Los demás... No, Brian por su ausencia, ¿verdad? So, um, remember that that's not 100% like, no es mandatory, no es obligatorio para que la hagan, but that es parte de su aprendizaje. Just because, si yo les digo, okay, um, is there homework? Y usted no la hace, at the end of the day, al final, es usted quien se está viendo afectado, not me. Just so I'm telling you this, that, that to do these homeworks, because that's part of your learning. It's part of your aprendizaje. So thank you so much for people that is always on time. Que siempre están a tiempo, sending the exercises, sending the, um, all the things that you have to do. That's very good, and I really appreciate that, okay? So guys, for today's class, we are going to have kind of a lot of vocabulary, probably Probablemente muchas palabras nuevas para ustedes. Because today we have adjectives and adjetivos, ¿ok? And adjectives, no, va, no vamos a ver adjetivos conocidos. Porque los conocidos, eso ya no los podemos. Like short, tall, big, uh, small, and things like that. Those ones are very easy to understand. So we are, siempre los vamos a ver, like very fast but we are going to go deep, yes? We are going to try to verify or to learn new adjectives, nuevos adjetivos, okay? So, um, let me see, let me share the screen. And, uh, okay, yes. All right, so as you can see here, adjectives, adjetivos. As you might know, we have a lot of different type of adjectives. We have adjectives for comparing. We have adjectives like for different shapes, like adjectives for um, physical 
characteristics and different types of adjectives. So today we're going to try to understand some of the adjectives and try to learn pronunciation and also new vocabulary for you, okay? Because I am pretty sure that some of them, you are not going to be able to understand them. But today we are going to learn them. So first, first we have a brief meaning or a brief explanation and um, I will need some help for the first part. Any volunteer that would like to help me? I oh, okay. So first, uh, Juan Fernando, the first part, and then Mr. Luis, you can help me uh, starting from the word must, a partir de must and below, okay? So. Okay. Okay. Adjectives are words that give more information about a noun or, pronoun, or pronoun mm -hmm. and can go in different positions in, the, in a sentence. Okay, thank you. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Most adjectives can be used in front of a noun. Examples, mm -hmm. they have a beautiful house. We saw a very exciting film last night. Okay, very good. So in gen, in simple words, in palabras simples, adjectives are words that are going to give you extra information about a noun. See, ¿Sí? son palabras que le van a dar información extra about a noun or pronoun. As we can see here, una de las reglas principales o algo que le va a dar a usted entender how to find an adjective is because adjectives can be used in front of, en frente de un sustantivo, in front of a noun, most of the time. So here we have some examples. They have a beautiful house. See? This, uh, the adjective here is beautiful. Porque me está diciendo, está modificando el noun y me está dando extra information about the noun. Yo podría decir, they have a house, and that will be correct, ¿sí? Si yo digo, they have a house, quitándole el adjetivo, that will be correct. But if I, if I add, si agrego, el adjective beautiful, that is giving me extra information about the house. Is telling me that the house is beautiful. So what about the exercise number two? I'm sorry, example number two. It says, we saw, vimos, a very exciting film last night. A very exciting film. Vimos una película muy emocionante la noche anterior, o la última noche. Yes? So, as you can see there as well, um, exciting, the adjective exciting is giving me extra information about the film. So for you to understand that, just remember that an adjective is going to always give you extra information about something. That's it, simple words, in palabras simple. So let's move on. Something, guys, that you need to remember is that when we use, cuando utilizamos linking verbs, let me see, cuando utilizamos linking verbs, así le llamamos en inglés, en español sería como verbos de conexión o conectores. ¿Cuáles son esos verbos? Esos verbos generalmente son, se le llama a los verbos de los sentidos, ¿sí? Como tocar, de los sentidos, touch, feel, de sentir, look, es como de ver. And we have smell, también tenemos el verbo smell, que es como de sentir, eh, olor, smell, olor. 
So those verbs, a esos verbos le llamamos linking verbs. La diferencia entre esos de acá, this one's right here, es que con los linking verbs, el, la posición del adjetivo is going to change. Cambia. As you can see here, el adjetivo está antes o enfrente de el noun. ¿Qué pasa con los linking verbs? The adjective is after, después del verbo. And it's kind of the final part. ¿Sí? Casi que al final. So we have some examples right here. Their house is beautiful. La casa de ellos es hermosa o bonita. Or that film looks interesting. Esa película parece o luce interesante. See, as you can see here, the position of the adjective changes a little bit. It's not the same as in this one. Okay, so that's one of the things that we need to always remember so we do not get confused. At this moment, en este tiempo, esta es solo información extra por si en algún momento ustedes llegan a ver algo similar. Pero ahorita no se me enfoquen tanto en la posición de los adjetivos. Lo que más me interesa ahorita es que sepan por qué son adjetivos and why do we use adjectives, okay? And also try to learn or try to understand some of them, okay? So at this point, do not get that focus on that. No hay que concentrarnos tanto en eso because in the next module, en el próximo módulo, we are going to have more information or detailed information about it, okay? El próximo módulo vamos a tener more information. So, also guys, we can create sentences, I'm sorry, podemos crear oraciones utilizando the verb be, el verbo to be, plus más un adjetivo. What does that mean? ¿Qué significa? That I can use un pronombre o, en este caso, si yo digo John, which it will be the personal pronoun? ¿Cuál sería el personal pronoun if I say John? Yes. I'm sorry? He. 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 Excellent. He. So I can use a personal pronoun, the verb be, and then, y luego an adjective. So, estas son las oraciones more the simple as the simplest uh, sentences las oraciones más simples cuáles pronombre personal verb be and then the adjective John example John is old Juan está o es viejo sí or I can also make that negative también puedo hacer esto negativo que ya sabemos que solo agregando que la palabra not. not. So I can say John is not John. Juan no es joven. Okay. So those are the, uh, the ways that we are going to create a sentence. Esas son las formas para create a sentence. Now. I can also, yo también puedo hacer preguntas with that. ¿Cómo? Simple. I just move the verb be, then the personal pronoun, and then the adjective, el adjetivo. So I can say, if I have, si tengo la oración, he is happy, the question, la pregunta sería, is he happy? As you can see, this is the way or how we are going to create questions using the verb be, of course. So we have some examples right there with, um, with the verb be and some adjectives. Ahí podemos 
is uh, to see some adjectives. This part right here, in esta parte de acá, tenemos tired, el adjective tired, cansado, nervous, nervioso, tall, alto, happy, feliz, round, redondo, cold, frío, hot, caliente, angry, enojado. Okay, so these ones are one of the most common adjectives that we have in English. Estos son algunos de los más comunes, okay? So these ones, you can see it everywhere, ¿sí? Si tú quieres decir, oh, él es bien enojado. He's tall. Oh, he's angry, I'm sorry. He is angry or she is angry or she is happy or something like that. Yes, so this is the very basic way or uh, the easiest way of creating sentences and questions. Esta es la forma más fácil de crear oraciones y preguntas. So, with that information being said, guys, does anyone have any questions so far? No? Okay, so if there's no question, guys, we are going to move on because we have a big, let me see, a big list. Como pueden ver acá, as you can see here, tenemos una lista enorme. Y esto que aquí faltan aún más. Esto estamos ni a la mitad, ¿verdad? But these ones... Son uno de los más utilizados in different places, in diferentes lugares, like uh, books or probably Facebook or probably Twitter, probably Instagram or social media or any type of book, right? So here we have a list. Tenemos una lista de adjectives. And today, lo vamos a aprender todos, okay? Or part of them, algunos, ¿verdad? No todos se nos van a quedar, but we are going to try it. So if you want, si quieren, I can send you this presentation after the class so you can have this list. Yes. Okay. So um, we are going to start now. Please, I will request you or I will ask you to pay attention to the pronunciation because pronunciation at this point is very important, as you know. Okay, so we are going to start with the first part. Vamos a iniciar con los primeros, que son adjectives <coughs> of appearance. ¿Qué significa? Adjetivos. Apariencia. Apariencia. Appearance, okay? Appearance. We, we are going to start with the number one, el adjetivo attractive. Attractive, attractivo, bald, bald, calvo, beautiful, beautiful, hermoso, lindo, chubby, chubby. This one means gordito. Cuando alguien le queremos decir, eh, no le queremos decir gordo, así como muy de peyorativo, ¿verdad? O muy mal expresado. Y le decimos, oh, you are chubby. Eres gordito. That's the meaning of that. Gordito, chubby. Chubby. So clean. Do you know what clean means? Limpio. Limpio, okay. Dazzling. 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 That means deslumbrante deslumbrante. So we have uh, drab, drab, que es sinónimo de deslumbrante también. So these two are pretty much the same thing, okay? Son sinónimos. So we can use both, ambos. Elegant, elegant, elegante, yes? Fancy, fancy, que es lujoso. Fit, fit, 
que es en forma, es decir, como cuando, when you go to the gym, cuando vas al gimnasio y estás fit, you are fit, estás en forma, ok, flabby, flabby, es flácido, glamorous, glamorous, glamuroso, gorgeous, that's gorgeous, gorgeous, precioso, handsome, handsome, handsome que es utilizado únicamente para hombres, cuando alguien le quiere decir a un hombre que se ve bonito o que es guapo en este caso, ¿sí? Solo vamos a utilizar únicamente para hombres la palabra handsome. De lo contrario, si nos referimos a cosas o hacia la belleza femenina, utilizamos el adjetivo beautiful. Ok. Perfect. So we have the following one. Magnificent. Magnificent. Es como magnífico. Magnificent. Muscular. 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 Es musculoso. Plain. 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 Sencillo. Plump. 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 Que significa regordete. Algo que está regordete. ¿Sí? Está plump. <ríe> Scruffy. Scruffy, that means desaliñado, ok. Uh, shapely, shapely, uh, that means bien proporcionado, es decir, que usted está en, en todas sus proporciones del cuerpo bien. That's shapely, shapely. Shapely. Skinny, skinny, así es flaco, oh. flaco, skinny. Stocky, stocky, es como robusto o fornido, ¿sí? Stocky, you are stocky, cuando le quiere decir a alguien, está bien cholito, ¿va? En nuestro idioma o en nuestra caliche que tenemos, you are stocky, oh, te ves cholito, estás cholito, ¿ok? So tenemos um, uncapped, uncapped, es eh, descuidado o desarreglado. And we have the last one that is unsightly, unsightly, que es antiestético. Unsightly. Unsightly. Es antiestético. También eh, es un sinónimo de antiestatic. También podemos, antiestético, podemos decirlo de la forma antiestatic, ¿sí? Both of them, los dos, son sinónimos, por lo tanto, significan lo mismo. Now, espero que todos hayan prestado atención a la pronunciation, porque vamos a empezar, ¿verdad? Ok, so let's see, Karen Rivas. Yes. Hello, Karen, can you please help me saying the four, the first four adjectives, los primeros cuatro. Ok, teacher. Attractive, dull, mm -hmm. beautiful, jolly, Ex clean. Excellent. Very good. Teresita, hello. Hello, teacher. Now, help me with another four. Otros cuatro. Starting from here. Iniciando de acá. Dancing, drive. No, no, no. Say yeah. it again. Hey, es cierto, perdón que no tengo lentes ahorita. Um, dice dazzling, dazzling, drag, elegant, fancy. Fancy, ok. Let's go with Nivia. Four. Ok. Sí. Flavy. Flabby. Flabby. Glamorous. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And handsome. How or when are you going to use handsome? Cuando? Um, 
solo para cuando nos referimos a un, un hombre, para darle, como, para decirle que es guapo. Exacto, yeah. exacto. Ok, very good. Now, let's go with Juan Fernando, the following one. Four. The... Starting from here. Ok. Uh, sorry. Is magnificent. Magnificent. Magnificent, muscular, clean, and plump. Ok. Muscular, muscular, ok. Muscular. Plain, plump. Ok. Now, let me see. Uh, Catherine Reyes. Uh, Catherine. Um, shape. Skinny Crop. and stocky. Okay. Skinny and stocky. And the last two, Ana Acevedo. Hello. Can you help me with the last two? Unclined. Um, un Uncapped. And um, side, Julie. Unsightly, very good. So, um, okay, so now we finish with that part and we go, y nos vamos a la parte de positive personality. Adjetivos para personalidad positiva, okay? So, the first one that we have, it is agreeably, 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 que es el más fácil de comprender que es un sinónimo de agradable, agreeably, agreeably, ok, ambitious, ambitious, que es ambicioso, brave, brave, que es valiente, calm, calm, calmado, delightful, delightful, Delicioso, delightful, eager, eager, es dispuesto, eager, faithful, faithful, es, eh, it's like uh, when we have, uh, cuando alguien tiene fe, mucha fe, how can we say that person? ¿Cómo le podríamos decir a una persona así? Um, como convicción, quizás. Like something like that, como convicción, sí, faithful. And uh, gent gentle, gentil, happy, and we know feliz, jolly. Es trabajador. No, jolly. Jolly, jolly. jolly. Alegre, kind, kind. Eh, amable. Lively, vivo, nice, que ya sabemos que es bueno, obedient, obedient, obediente, obedient, polite, es educado, polite, educado, proud, proud, es orgulloso, silly, Silly, que es sí, alguien bien. tonto. Sí, alguien tonto. Thankful. Thankful, agradecido. Victorious. Victorious, victorioso. Witty. Witty, ingenioso. Ingenioso. Wonderful. 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 Maravilloso. And zealous. Silos es un sinónimo como que nosotros estuviéramos diciendo jealous, como celoso, ¿sí? Se puede decir de las dos formas, pero commonly, comúnmente, in the States or American people, they prefer to use jealous instead of saying silos, ¿sí? Celoso. Ellos prefieren utilizar jealous. Let me write it down. Uh, es este mismo que tenemos acá. I don't know if you can see it. El que estoy pointing. Donde está el punto. Can you see it? 
So, este jealous es lo mismo que celos. Jealous, celos. Ambos significan celoso. ¿Sí? But Americans, americanos prefieren utilizar la palabra jealous. Es más común. So now, let's go with the pronunciation now. Let's start with uh, Maricela Alejandrina. The first five, los primeros cinco. Go ahead. Agreeable. Agreeable. Delightful. Delightful. Very good. Elizabeth Giron. Uh, eager. 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 Mm -hmm. Faithful. 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 Uh, gentle. No. Gentle. Happy. Gentle. Happy. Jolly. Kim. Mm -hmm. Kind. Kind. Okay, Alba. Alba Duarte. Let's go with the following. Don't one. One. This one. Lively. Nice. Lively. Mm -hmm. Obedient. Mm -hmm. Polite. Polite. And the last one. Proud. Proud. Sí, cuando alguien quiere decir estoy orgulloso de mi trabajo. Well, I am proud of my job, okay? Ya utilizando los adjectives. Now, let's see. Let me see another one. Uh, Omar, hello, sir. Hello, teacher. The last ones, please. Um, um, Sively. Silly. Silly? Silly? Mm -hmm. Thankful. 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 Victorious. Victorious. Whitely. Witty. Ah, uh, witty. <laughs> um, wonderful. Wonderful. Um, Cielos. Cielos, okay. Cielos. Cielos. Very good. Okay, now. Now, move, moving forward to the negative personality, personalidades negativas. So, let's go. We have angry. Ya todos sabemos que es angry, right? Enojado. Be wild, the red. Be wild, the red. Be wild, the red. Desconcertado. I will repeat it again. Be wild, the red. Be wild, the red. Clumsy. Clumsy. You okay, please. Yes. Be wild, the red. Be wild, the red. Be wild, the red. Like that. Clumsy. Clumsy. Es torpe. Defeated. 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 Derrotado. Embarrassed, embarrassed, is avergonzado, embarrassed. Fierce, fierce, feroz. Grumpsy, grumpsy, gruñón, grumpsy. Helpless, helpless, is eh, impotente o indefenso. Helpless. Itchy, itchy, itchy. Es irritado, es irritado, pero cuando usted le pica, como que le da picazón en alguna parte y usted dice itchy, es irritado de picazón. So, jealous, que ya sabemos qué significa jealous. What's the meaning of jealous? Celoso. Celoso. So, we have uh, lazy, lazy. Aragán, Aragán, lazy, Aragán. Mysterious, mysterious, misterioso. Nervous, nervous, nervioso. 
obnoxious, obnoxious, detestable, o odioso. Um, panicky, panicky, pánico, pitiful, pitiful, lamentable, repulsivo, 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 scary, scary, aterrador, thoughtless, thoughtless, desconsiderado, thoughtless, uptight, uptight, tenso, and worried, que es preocupado. So, let's see. Luis, help me with the first seven. Los primeros siete, first seven. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Angry. 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 Bewildered. Bewildered. Mm -hmm. Clumsy. Clumsy, yes. Defeated. 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 Em embarrassed. Embarrassed. Fierce. Fierce. Grumpy. 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 Helpless. Helpless. Itchy. Itchy. Very good. Leave it there. Thank you so much. Let's go okay. now with Adrian. Adrian. Well, I think he's not there. Any volunteer guys? No. Yeah. Okay, Nidia, go ahead. Serious, lazy, mm -hmm. mysterious. Mysterious. Mysterious, nervous. Nervous. Nervous, mm -hmm. obnoxious. obnoxious. Obnoxious, panicky, panicky, pitiful, 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 repulsive, repulsive, scary, scary, thoughtless, thought, conceta, thoughtless, thoughtless. So, of time, mm -hmm. worried. Worried. Okay, chicos. Eh, let me give you a tip. Déjenme darles un tip. Um, casi siempre, almost always, casi siempre in pronunciation. Cuando, vengam, cuando veamos que la palabra lleva TH, casi siempre, not always, no siempre, there will be some exceptions. Cuando veamos TH, vamos a pronunciar Z, el sonidito de la Z de nuestro idioma. ¿Sí? Es como aire pasando sobre sus dientes. Like Sorry. that. So we're going to say thought, thoughtless. Ok. So for the next time, para la próxima vez, cuando vean una TH, no siempre. Por ejemplo, aquí. Donde estoy, uh, where I'm pointing, donde estoy apuntando here, tenemos como que dijéramos gracias. La mayoría tiende a decir thank, como con T, pero en realidad es TH, de nuevo, letras Z, ¿sí? Thank, thankful, thankful, ¿ok? For the next time, para la próxima vez, you will have that, ¿ok? So, let's go with the last part. Con la última parte de los adjectives. We have big, big. Okay. What's the meaning of big? Grande. 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 Colossal. Colossal. Es colosal, que colosal. también cuando alguien dice colosal es como algo enorme, grande. Enorme. Fat. Fat. Que es gordo, gigantic, gigantic, gigante, gigantic, 
Change. Great. 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 What's the meaning of great? Great. Does anyone know? Alguien sabe great. what's the meaning? I'm sorry. Great. I'm sorry. I, I misunderstood. Did you say something, Fernando Juan? No. Uh, como bueno, algo así. Yeah, and that's the meaning. Bueno. So huge. 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 That's enorme. Huge. Enorme. Immense. Immense. Immenso. Large. Large. Largo. Little. What's the meaning of little? Pequeño. Pequeño. So um, when we say mammoth, mammoth, that's the meaning of gigantesco, mammoth. Massive, massivo, microscopic, microscopic, microscopico, miniature, miniature, miniatura, petit, petit, que es pequeño también. Petit. We have a uh, pony, pony, que es débil, crony, crony, que es flacucho o flaco, short, short, that is corto, small, small, pequeño, tall, alto, teeny and tiny. Estos dos, these two, teeny and tiny, both of them son sinónimos de pequeño as well. See, ¿Sí? todos, teeny, tiny, small, pequeño, petit, cas, little, todos estos son sinónimos. Quiere decir que yeah. si usted utiliza cualquiera de ellos, usted eh, va a estar hablando de la forma correcta. ¿Por qué? Porque todos ellos pueden ser utilizados as adjectives. ¿Ok? So, that's the only thing that we have. So, with that being said, is there any questions so far? Yes, I have a question. What is your question? I can use teeny, um, little, small for the teens and for the people? Yes. I mean, uh, I mean in this case, um, el que generalmente se utiliza para características de una persona o para en sí una persona es small. small. ¿Por qué? Yo estoy hablando de talla, pequeño. But if I refer, si me refiero a algo pequeño, es para cosas. Es decir, yo voy a utilizar para eso tiny, teeny, or teeny. little. Or little, que es para cosas. ¿sí? Oh. But now for people... Para personas, it's going to be small. Is there any other question? No? Okay. So, I think that nobody has questions. So, let's go with the practice, guys. Today we have four practices, but probably we are just going to do three of them. So here we have the first one. If you try. Okay, are you done? Fast. No, are we done? Remember that with the practice, you are going to go again to the breakout room so everyone will participate on that. So you will have to take a screenshot, a picture, or something. Yes, teacher. Okay, now I can move to number two then. This is number two. Yes. This is number three. 
Okay. So okay. they are very easy, guys. They are very simple, some super faciles. In this one, in esta, what you have to do, lo único que tienen que hacer es eh, poner o encontrar el adjetivo que más le queda a cada una de las oraciones. Okay? And then, uh, in number two, en la siguiente, solo encontrar el adjetivo. Seleccionarlo. In the last one, identificar en la oración dónde se encuentra el adjetivo. Y cuál es. Y ponerlo acá. Okay? That's the only thing. So, we're going to do. so. So let's go now, guys. Ahorita le escribo. Cuatro. No sé. Hola. Aquí va. ¿Ya? No. Ahí está. Sí, ahí está. Sí, dice algo Entonces, así como que él, como que él maneja mal algo así. Eh, tuvo un accidente, algo así creo que entiendo. Vale, entonces ponemos fat, una uno. Bad. Bad, bad. Vamos a ¿Qué significa bad? Mal. Mal. Él maneja mal, lo que. La siguiente dice: no. necesito. ¿Dónde hay un, un nuevo calculador? Yo necesito Ajá. un nuevo sí, calculador. New. 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 Nuevo. Nuevo. Sí. Oh. Y aquí, I can't fridge that book on the top shelf is too. Dice yo. Oh, ahí. No puedo yo tengo... alcanzar el libro que está arriba del armario. Está oh. muy. Alto. Um, muy alto, no quiero ver, muy... Pero no, no, pero alto bien. no, muy, muy quiero ver. ¿Hello? No, no, muy no, abajo. No. Ay, estoy perdida. ¿Y esto qué significa buscar? High. It's too high. High. Uh, too Bye. high. Uh -huh. Hi. Es la palabra de abajo, ¿verdad? No. This one. Hi. 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 This Hi. is Hi. hard. 
¿Qué H. significa high? High está H I G H Cuando, cuando alto. 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 Ah, alto. es otro significado de alto. Es la alto. primera vez que lo... Este es alto, pero de una cosa que está alta. Pero tall es alto de estatura. Ok. Gracias. Sería, no puedo. Uh, Quizás es la siguiente. Mejor. Hacemos la siguiente. La cuatro. Sí, no. pues está un poco difícil. Sí. No puedo sí, alcanzar bueno. el libro que está encima ah. del armario. Está muy. <risa> ah, está muy. <risa> Alto. Alto. Hi. Height. Ah. No. Sí. Sí. Yes, it's too high. Height. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> well, vamos a la cuatro. She can get, ella no puede, en sus jeans. Ah, ella yeah. no puede entrar en sus jeans. Uh -huh. Ella está gorda, fat. Muy, ajá, muy obesa. <laughs> fat. He's so slow. Bueno, ¿verdad? Sí. Nuevos o buenos. Nuevos o buenos. Bueno, cualquiera de las dos sería good o new. ¿Cuál colocamos? Good. No, es que esas serían nuevos. 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 No creo. ¿Cuál? New chat. Sí, para mí new. New. Yo digo, compañera. En clase, si le ya voy a terminar. No, no, sería dry, porque acuérdense que es dry es seco. Aún no están dry. secos. Aún no están secos. Ajá. Aún no están secos. Sería dry. Claro, eso sería dry. Estoy, eh, estoy en clase, si le ya voy a terminar. Que me dé tres minutos, ya casi termino la clase. Dry. You don't study for your study. La otra, if you don't study. Dígale, dígale que no voy. Pasame. Hola, pasámelo pues. Yo necesito, Nidia, un favor de usted. Bye. You don't study for your test. Hola. You have to pay. Va a pasar de lado. You have Thank you. 
No, no sé cuál sería ahí. If you. Si tú no estudias para tu examen, obtendrás un o una. Bad. Obtendrás. Bad. Sí, sería bad. Bad. You sí. get a bad grade. Obtendrás una mala nota. Ok. Ok. I felt. I felt. Me sentí muy. Cuando tuve una A en mi examen de ciencia. Muy bien. Okay, guys. Um, well, I think that probably you were able to complete just probably exercise number one. I guess number two and number three, probably you didn't complete them. Am I correct? Uh, the first, no. You didn't complete the first one? No. No. So, who complete the first one? Quién es completar on the first one? Nosotros solo la primera parte, profe. Just the first part, but all of it, todo completo. Part number one. Yes. yes. All right. Very good. So, we let me see. In part number one, we had this. We had this that it says. If you drive to, if you drive to, hard, 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 you will. Fast. Se tú maneja rápido, fast. Exactly. Right, La número fast. uno es fast. If you drive too fast, si conduces demasiado rápido, you will have an accident. Tendrás un accidente. Number two, I need a. A new. A new. A new calculator. This one yeah. is broken. Este está quebrada. Number three, I can't reach that book on the top shelf. It's too high. High. Okay. <laughs> he can't get into her jeans. She's too fat. Fat. It's too fat. Very good. <laughs> He's so slow. He comes. Slow. slow. He comes slow in every race. Uh, slow. Slow. Yeah. Slow. Oh. <laughs> slow. You're only 15. That's not good. Right. That's, that's good. Not, that's not good. That is not good enough <laughs> to drive. Dude, bueno por acá. Don't put on those socks. They are not. Hey, si esa no faltó, teacher. Bad. Bad. Ellos Try. No... 
they are not dry yet. Aún no están ah, secos. secos. Right, uh -huh. Okay, if you don't study for your test, you will get a? Bad. Bad, bad, bad grade. grade. Excellent. I felt so? Sorry. I feel so. I felt so? I feel so bad. I felt so good so when I got a name in my science test. Me sentí bien cuando tuve una E en mi examen de ciencia. I can't sleep at night. No puedo dormir en la noche. My bed is too bad. All. Vieja. Hard. Hard. All. Podemos utilizar oh. dos. O está vieja, podemos utilizar too old or oh, bad. Too, no, too hard. No. Hard. hard. Es muy dura. Sí, uh -huh. it's too hard. So both of them. Okay, so because guys, exercise number two and number three are going to be for um, like a homework for you, okay? So because, um, well, exercise number two and three El número dos y tres are very easy. Están muy fácil. Just to find the, the adjectives and that's it. So, guys, um, para el día de ahora, eh, bueno, el día de mañana en la mañana, tomorrow morning, we will have calibration. Tenemos calibración de sus plataformas. It means that up to date, hasta el día de ahora, deben de haber terminado section number three, with the midterm, con el examen midterm, okay? So, uh, hopefully, espero que la, may la mayoría de ustedes ya hayan llegado a esa parte. If not, si todavía no lo han hecho, try to do it. No necesariamente oh, hoy o mañana. No sé, perdón. Uh -huh. Fíjese que yo ya terminé todo, pero fíjese que yo en cuatro de la sección tres, uh -huh. eh, en la práctica fíjese que hay cuatro que puse, puse todas las que me decía, las que me explicó, y ni una me parece ni correcta. Fíjese. Ninguna parece correcta. Sí, todas me parecen correctas, solo cu en cuatro no me parecen correctas y ya puse, to puse todos los nombres y todo, pero me parecen incorrectas. Can you send me the screenshot o puedes enviar la, la captura a the group? So I can try to bueno. see eh, cuáles son las, las que te aparecen mal, ok? Please. Okay. Thank you. So, and thank you so much for completing the platform. And well, los demás, verdad? Keep working on that and uh, see you tomorrow at the same time by the same channel, okay? So have a good night, guys. Okay. Bye. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night, everyone.